The stakeholder meeting forms part of the opposition's initiative to consult with key institutions as part of efforts to draft a manifesto that reflects the aspirations of the people. Speaking at the meeting with the leadership of the Ghana Bar Association in Accra Monday, General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Asiedu Nkitia called on the Ghana Bar Association to re-examine the quality of teaching in various law schools to address what has become perennial mass failure. We should be talking about what is the optimum levels that can help us maintain the market premium and help us to also achieve the objectives of the profession in a democratic society without compromising the, 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 the qualities. But as a teacher, I don't think that if you do an exam, and I mean only about 7% of your people pass, you should be able to examine yourself as to the quality of your teaching and other thing. What has gone wrong? Former Member of Parliament Benjamin Kumbo says the Bar Association must be concerned about why 90% of the students who fail the entrance exams in Ghana pass similar exams in Britain and other African countries. The evidence we have gathered so far is that almost all those who didn't get access to the Ghana Law School went to Rwanda, went to Gambia, to Nigeria, into the United Kingdom. The statistics show that 90% of those people were called to those bars from Ghana here, and they have come back and done their post call. So the question that we are asking, how can somebody go and be able to pass the exam to become a barrister in England, in Wales, and the same person cannot even pass an entrance exam in Ghana. Responding to concerns raised by the opposition NDC, President of the Ghana Bar Association, Tony Forsen says, Parliament must take the blame for the mass failure because they insisted on the removal of the interview aspect of the test which could have seen many more lawyers qualifying to practice as lawyers, insisting entry into the legal profession is purely by qualification. It was simply a matter of pure performance. And unfortunately, when we were passing LI 2355, you were there. Parliament told us that we should take out the interviews. At least if the interviews had been left, many more people would have had a second opportunity to go through the interview process and get um, enrollment. But Parliament said, if you do not take out the interviews, we will not pass the law before God and man. If you will be honest, you know, sir, that's what you told us. And that's how the law is, at least. If you deny, the law will speak for itself. LI 2355 took out the interviews. Former President Mahama also you called on the association to, among other things, reconsider the entry examination by incorporating international practices. How do we expand, you know, legal education without compromising quality? That is important. Let's not say that because one more lawyers, we're going to do a mass production of lawyers, and then based on that compromise, the quality of the legal representation that people have a right to have access to. And so I think that that is an issue that should engage us. And I thought that I will raise it as part of the discussion uh, that we have and see how the Bar Association can make its voice heard, you know, looking at what best practice is across the world, you know, so that we can um, give opportunities for those who have the potential and the capacity, you know, to pursue a legal education and um, uh, work in their chosen careers. The decision to cancel the interview aspect of the entry exams, according to NDC MP Inus Afuseini, was to reduce the entry barriers. Admissions at the law school.